How to Win Friends and Influence People is one of the best-selling self-help books of all time, first published in 1936 by Dale Carnegie. The book focuses on the fundamental techniques for effectively interacting with others, building relationships and influencing people in both personal and professional environments. It provides practical advice and actionable steps to improve communication, increase likability and foster cooperation. Though decades old, the principles Carnegie lays out remain widely applicable in modern life. Uh, the book is divided into four main sections, each containing principles and techniques that guide readers on how to handle people, make people like them, win people over to their way of thinking and be an effective leader. Section 1. Fundamental Techniques in Handling People This section addresses the basic interpersonal skills needed to manage relationships and influence others effectively. Carnegie introduces three key principles. Don't criticize, condemn, or complain. Criticism makes people defensive and resentful. Instead, Carnegie advises finding constructive ways to address issues without blaming or shaming others. Give honest and sincere appreciation. Everyone craves recognition and appreciation. Genuine praise and acknowledgement of others' efforts help build positive relationships. Arouse in the other person an eager want. Instead of focusing on what you want, appeal to what others desire. If you can frame your requests in terms of what benefits them, they are more likely to respond favorably. Section two, six ways to make people like you. This section covers strategies for becoming more likable and building rapport with others. Carnegie provides six principles to develop connections. Become genuinely interested in other people. Show real interest in other people's lives, thoughts, and concerns. By listening and engaging, you can build stronger connections. A simple smile is a powerful tool that conveys friendliness and warmth. Carnegie stresses the importance of nonverbal communication in making a good impression. Using someone's name in conversation makes them feel valued. This small gesture can leave a lasting positive impression. Carnegie emphasizes that being an attentive listener is more important than talking. Let others speak and they will feel understood and appreciated. Talk in terms of the other person's interests. People are more engaged when the conversation revolves around their interests. Focus on what matters to the other person to keep them involved and interested. Make the other person feel important. Validate people by making them feel significant. Carnegie advises offering compliments and treating others with respect, which can enhance relationships. Section 3. How to win people to your way of thinking. This section covers techniques for persuading others without causing resentment or disagreement. Carnegie emphasizes influencing others by guiding them gently toward your point of view. The principles include The only way to get the best of an argument is to avoid it. Carnegie argues that winning an argument rarely leads to positive outcomes. Instead of debating, find common ground to resolve differences peacefully. Show respect for the other person's opinions. Never dismiss someone's ideas outright, even if you disagree. Showing respect for their thoughts fosters collaboration. If you're wrong, admit it quickly and emphatically. Owning up to your mistakes earns respect and disarms potential conflict. A quick, sincere apology can help diffuse tension. Begin in a friendly way. Always start a conversation on a positive note. Friendliness sets the tone for a more constructive interaction. Get the other person saying yes, yes immediately. Carnegie encourages asking questions that will lead the other person to agree with you early on in the conversation, making them more likely to be open to your ideas later. Let the other person do a great deal of the talking. People like to feel heard. Allowing others to express their thoughts fully increases rapport and understanding. Let the other person feel the idea is theirs. If you make someone believe that they came up with the idea themselves, they will be more committed to it. This builds a sense of ownership and pride in the decision. Try honestly to see things from the other person's point of view. Empathy is crucial in influencing others. Try to understand their perspective before presenting your own. Be sympathetic to the other person's ideas and desires. Show understanding and empathy for the emotions of others. This fosters a collaborative atmosphere and builds trust. 
appeal to nobler motives. People like to think of themselves as good and ethical. By appealing to their higher virtues, you can inspire better behavior and decision-making. Dramatize your ideas. Make your message more impactful by presenting it in a way that grabs attention and makes an impression. Throw down a challenge. People are motivated by competition and achievement. Challenging others to rise to an occasion can inspire them to excel. Section 4. Be a leader. How to change people without giving offence or arousing resentment. This section provides techniques for leading others while avoiding conflict and resentment. Carnegie focuses on leadership strategies that encourage cooperation and growth. Key principles include Begin with praise and honest appreciation. Starting with positive feedback helps soften any forthcoming criticism and makes people more receptive. Call attention to people's mistakes indirectly. Rather than pointing out faults bluntly, use indirect suggestions to help people improve without damaging their self-esteem. Talk about your own mistakes before criticizing others. Admitting your own faults before criticizing someone else encourages humility and makes others more open to feedback. Ask questions instead of giving direct orders. Frame requests as questions to give others a sense of control and responsibility over their actions. Let the other person save face. Be mindful of preserving others' dignity even when they've made mistakes. This encourages long-term cooperation and goodwill. Praise every improvement, even the smallest. Positive reinforcement encourages continued improvement. Acknowledging even small successes boosts morale. Give the other person a fine reputation to live up to. By highlighting people's strengths and potential, you motivate them to rise to the occasion and meet those expectations. Use encouragement. Focus on what people are doing well and how they can improve rather than just pointing out flaws. Make the other person happy about doing what you suggest. Frame requests in a way that aligns with the other person's interests, making them more willing to cooperate. Conclusion. How to win friends and influence people is an enduring classic that offers practical strategies for improving interpersonal relationships. Its principles center around kindness, empathy, and effective communication. The book teaches readers how to build trust, resolve conflicts, and inspire others by appealing to their basic human desires for recognition, understanding, and appreciation. Carnegie's insights remain relevant in both personal and professional contexts, making it a valuable guide for anyone looking to enhance their social skills and influence.